Hello guys and welcome to our soul profile interview of our beautiful lady Alexandra. She's 30 and she's now currently in Lviv. Uh, you can check out her full profile uh, by going to match guarantee spelled with y dot com clicking on our ladies tab it's in the top right of the home page and entering her id number which is 2897 also her profile information is listed in the description below this video so let's welcome our beautiful alexandra hello alexandra hello hello <laughs> hello, hello so um, can you please um, share with us what city were you born and where do you live now? Um, I was born in a little town in western Ukraine and a few years ago I moved to Lviv and currently I live, I live here. Okay, great. Do you like living in Lviv? Yeah. And and the city, where are you from? It's also in Lviv region, or is it another city? I'm sorry, we cannot hear you. Uh, sorry. This little town is situated also in uh, western Ukraine, but it's in uh, the other region, close to the border with uh, Belarus. Oh, great, great. <laughs> Okay, great. So, um, so can you share with us what are your plans for future? I mean, are you planning maybe to go out of Ukraine or are you, are you planning to stay? So now the situation is quite difficult and it's difficult to plan in advance. But uh, I don't mind to move out, but I also can stay here. So it depends... Uh, where my love will live. Oh, it's a great answer. <laughs> okay, great. So, can I also ask you, how is your family doing? Are they in Ukraine? Are they in safe? Uh, yes, uh, they are in Ukraine. Uh, so, as you know, there is no safe place in Ukraine, but here in the western part, the situation is uh, more or less normal. So we can still go to work, uh, go to the store, sometimes even to the cinema. So, of course, we have blackouts and uh, it's uh, not very warm inside, but uh, it's better than, in, uh, for example, in, the, in eastern Ukraine or in south Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I agree. So I, I'm, I'm glad to know that your family are in safe. Thank you. And uh, what about children? Do you have children? Uh, no, I have no children, but yet. But uh, ah. I would uh, <laughs> like to have a few children. Oh, how many children would you like to have? Uh, I guess two. Ah, oh, great. Boys or girls? <laughs> um, I guess... Um... It doesn't, uh, it doesn't make any difference to me if it's a boy or a girl. The most important thing is that uh, a child is healthy. He oh. Health. Healthy. Oh, great. I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, so now I have a couple of interesting questions for you. So can you please complete this sentence? I want my future husband to have these three qualities. Um, I would like that he is kind, um, honest, and uh, emotional stable. Wow, wow, okay, great. And um, uh, Alexandra, what is love to you? Um, what a nice question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love, <laughs> love is, I guess, if people respect each other, they trust each other, take care of each other, there is some patience between them, so they can't live without each other. Okay, great, great. Also, we have here a couple of comments. Um, good morning, first time watching some of the guys. It's been interesting. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Thanks for a comment. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, great. So. Can I also ask you, 
Alexandra, what is important in life for you? Uh, for me, is the most important thing is uh, that uh, all my relatives uh, are healthy and uh, to share my own. I would like also to start my own family and to be happy. Oh, so it's like your the most important for you is how your um, family feels, yeah? Yes, exactly. Oh, great. So. Mm, can you also complete this sentence? If I could have these three things, I would be happy. If I would have these three things, I would be happy. Uh, first, to find my second half. Second, to have a good job. And, then, and third, to... Uh, how to say it in English? Wait a minute. Mir uh, это freedom. Как будет мир? Peace. Peace. Um, to that uh, everywhere is is a peace, or uh, there is everywhere peace, or something like this. Oh, Sorry everywhere. for my bad English. I can speak only basic English. So no. and sometimes it's difficult to explain what I want to say. Alexander, your English is great. It's great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Yes, yes, thank you very much. So you want that peace everywhere in the world, yeah? Yes, exactly, in every country. I absolutely agree with you. I feel that that's what all of us need now. Yeah, thank you. And how do you imagine your future life to be like? Uh, as I already have said, uh, it's difficult to plan or imagine something because we don't know what can in an hour happen. But um, I guess uh, as almost every woman, I would have uh, a solid family, a husband, a few kids. Uh, so good job, normal, stable life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So, uh, But how do you imagine? Maybe you have some details that... You would um, you imagine it to um, you imagine yourself living in another country, or maybe you imagine yourself to live in Ukraine and living in the house or in the apartment. Like maybe you have some. To tell you the truth, I can imagine both. I can live in Ukraine. I can live abroad. I have already uh, had such a, an experience. So and. Um, if it's a house or a flat, uh, it's not so important. Uh, so my parents live in a house with a garden. It's, uh, for example, always nice to spend some time in the garden, in the fresh air or something like this. Uh, and uh, But uh, to live in the flat is also nice. Uh, so it doesn't so make a very big difference to me. But you mentioned that you had experience, you mean experience living abroad? Yes. Wow, so where have you been living? Um, I guess seven years ago, eight years, seven years ago, I had been living in Germany for a year. I uh -huh. visited language courses. It was my hobby. Wow. Where, what city in Germany were you? Uh, it's not a very big city, Limburg Anderland. It's um, approximately, it's about one hour by train from Frankfurt to uh, uh, Main. Wow, wow. And you have been there to study or were you just traveling? Uh, I visited language courses. Ah, oh, with language so courses? Wow. studied language there. So you know German? Yes. Wow. Wow. Maybe you would know any other languages? Uh, no, I can speak German, Russian, Ukrainian, and a little bit English. Oh, your English is great. We also have a comment from, from Ark here. We totally understand you. Don't be afraid of your English. Yes, it's true, Alexander. Oh, thank English. you. <laughs> Thanks for support. It's very important to me. <laughs> thank you, too. Okay, great. So, um, now let's talk about relationship. So how do you understand when a man really loves you? How do you understand that? I will feel this. Oh, so it's 
So it's like some, more maybe he will do, maybe he will do some actions. Uh, um, of course, actions are more Im important than uh, words, but uh, it's important to have this feeling. It's my person. It's exactly mm -hmm. my person. I want to spend with this person um, all my life. Wow! Wow! So actions are more important for you than words. Yes, people can um, talk. Uh, much but uh, sometimes right words are also important even to support a person so can i ask you which actions he can do so you will, will feel loved it can be some simple things um, even if people ask how are you if you need some help i can help you i can support you it doesn't mean that uh, uh, something must be done but at least a little suggestion mm -hmm. to help if uh, I really need it. Wow, wow. Okay, great, great. And uh, also, what will you give to your man? Mm, the same. Some support, uh, some help. Uh, um, I would take care of him. Uh, so everything possible. Both people have to do something for each other. Okay, great. And next question is similar. What do you need to receive from men to feel loved? I guess uh, I will also understand this. Uh, it's difficult to, sometimes it's difficult to describe these things. Uh, so, and if you meet the uh, right person, I guess men and uh, women and women will understand this, realize this. Okay, so you feel it's like more something like intuition, yes? Or, exactly. The, or the right, feeling. The most, yes, exactly. It's the right word. Okay, great. <laughs> we have here a funny question from Ark. <laughs> First of all, thanks for being here. It totally counts as a um, courage. And uh, Alexandra, do you have a cat? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't have any cats, but uh, when I was a child, my family had four cats. Wow! Wow, so they're cat lovers and... <laughs> and dog lovers. <laughs> well, and now do you have any animals, a cat or a dog? Uh, no? I don't have any pets, but my parents have a little dog. Wow, wow. <laughs> and here is also a comment from... Ukraina, Slava Ukraini. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> okay, great. Um, and can I also ask you, no, as, as long as uh, Anne asked about the cat, I mean, what about your family? Are your parents, they are still married? They're still together? Oh, yes, they are still together. They are uh, over 30 years together. Oh. There wow. were bad and good times, but uh, they keep together. Wow. wow. And, uh, I mean, how is your relationship with your parents? How is your relationship with your father now? Very good. So we have such, rela such relationships like we are friends. So oh. I can uh, ask them everything. I can tell them everything. So they can give me some advice. Uh, so friendly relationship. Wow, I think it's the best between um, child and the par and parents to have like friendship and to be um, to trust each other so much that you can share everything. It's very important. Yes, I guess with age, uh, when you're over twenty, it can be a friendly re relationship. So this age difference uh, is not so big anymore, or doesn't seem so big, and uh, we stay friends. Uh, Wow, great. And what about your mother? How is your relationship with your mother? Also great. Uh, she's my best friend. So, wow. And she can keep my secrets. Uh, so we have really good relationship. Oh, that's great. Guys, you're welcome to ask your questions in the chat for our review from beautiful Alexandra. If you have any, please be free to ask. And here is also a compliment from Ark. Alexandra has a very beautiful voice. Oh, thank you very much for a compliment. It's nice <laughs> to hear this. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, Art. Hello, 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 Vincent. Welcome to our live stream. Hello. An interview of our beautiful Alexandra. Once again, guys, I just wanted to remind you that you can find Alexandra's um, um, profile link in the description below this video, okay? And you can also uh, find her on our medguarantee.com uh, website just by um, going to our ladies tab and just by entering her ID number, it's... Uh, um 98 uh, uh sorry it's 28 uh, 97 <laughs> okay guys so please check it out check it out um here is a question from pope uh we already answered this question uh hi alexandra i just joined the stream how old are you and do you have kids um hi i am 30 years old and uh, i don't have any kids uh, yet <laughs> Okay, great. And um, here is also the question from Winston. So what is Alexandra's age range for men? Does she want children? If so, how many? Uh, age range uh, означает какая, ну, допустимая возрастная категория? Да. Uh, so first question, I guess uh, my man or my second half should be um, no no more or not more than 10 years older than me i guess 10 years age difference is um, acceptable age difference and normal mm -hmm. so and uh, does she want children uh, yes of course i would like to have my own children uh, two children should be fine <laughs> okay perfect yes <clears throat> so alexander your once again um, you said that your husband should be not more than 10 years older, right? Yes. It's very important, uh, yeah, I think to, you know, um, to share this because, uh, <clears throat> you know, many of um, um, guys think that ladies are looking for an age gap, you know, 20 years old or 25 years old. So what do you think of it? Do you think it's a real? It's normal if uh, it's your person and you have this feeling the man can be also older. For example, 15 years older than mm -hmm. me. It's mm -hmm. also not a problem. But in general, 10 years uh, is a nice age difference. But a uh, few years more can be also normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It depends on a person. Great, great answer. I agree with you. But, Alexandra, do you think, um, for example, 25 years um, years difference is realistic? Do you believe it's realistic? Maybe for some people it's normal or okay, but uh, many people can have different hobbies, different aims in life, different view of life. If both people have the same, then it can be normal and it can work. But um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It depends on people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for answering. Uh, and um, by the way, some people at the age of 25 can feel like old, old men. But mm -hmm. some people, some men in the age of, or at the age of 45 can feel like young uh, men. Mm -hmm. It's a great answer. I agree with you. So it depends on how we feel ourselves and what is our of lifestyle life? Yeah. Lifestyle aims, uh, hobbies, um, wishes, um, and so on. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And here's also another question from Art. At your profile, you have a photo by the river. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Uh, yes, I enjoy such activities, but uh, in the summer, maybe in late spring or in early autumn, when it's warm enough to okay. do some uh, activities. What, what, what do you like to do? Maybe bicycles? <laughs> I, like, I like cycling. It's my favorite kind of sport. I really enjoy it. Uh, but of course, if the weather is warm enough. And I like also jogging. Oh. So. Oh, wow. uh, now it's difficult in this situation to do some sport, uh, but... Um, uh, when the situation is normal, regular, it's nice to do some sports. 
Okay, great. So you're fit. <laughs> you're very fit. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Great. Uh, Alexandra is very articulate for being on the hot seat. Great job communication, communicating, ladies. Thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> Thank <Thanks>. you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, so let's continue. Let's come back a little bit to my questions. Um, so, um, Alexandra, do you love yourself? Mm, I guess yes. Mm -hmm, great. And how do you show it? How do you show your love for yourself? I try to take care of myself, for example, to eat more or less healthy food, not to some junky food or how to call it in English, to do some sport, uh, um, try to sleep enough, uh, so try to do for myself some healthy things. Okay, great. So you, um, the most, uh, um, the best way to show your love for yourself is just to take care of yourself enough, yes? Yes. <laughs> it's my opinion. I don't, I can't say that I am right, but it's my subjective, subjective opinion. I absolutely agree with you. I absolutely agree with you, Alexandra. Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, let me now ask you another question. So <clears throat> what was your um, hardest lesson in your past relationship? Or in life in general? Or because in life I can general. say the same. Mm -hmm. So... The hardest lesson was that uh, people can lie and uh, not uh, everything they say can be truth. Mm -hmm. So we have to trust other people, but uh, somehow to not check this information, but to hear to our intuition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like we have this proverb in, in our language, yeah? Um, Think seven times before you do something. Yeah, like um, yes, mm, yes. like be more careful. <clears throat> yes, it's hard exactly. to be careful. Watch myself or yourself or I don't know how to say this uh, in English, but uh, be careful. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, and that's why you appreciate honesty the most. Yes, because you mentioned. Yes, it. it's the best way because uh, this honesty. Mm, it's like uh, a basic thing. How can we build build some relationship and develop it uh, if we can't trust uh, another person? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely agree. Yeah, yeah. And uh, a comment from Turbo, Turbo. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Alexandra. Good to see you here. Good morning from Australia. Regards, Steve. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi. As I know, in Australia, it's already night, right? So <laughs> probably yes. yes. Uh, we have a, a very big uh, time difference. Yes. So <laughs> thank you, Steve. But good night to you. <laughs> but thank you for joining us. Um, okay. So <clears throat> let me now ask you the most important question, I guess. So what? Why do you want marry a foreign husband? Why? <laughs> I have. I will try to explain this. Um, I just decided to расширить границы поиска. Um, to. Um, oh my God! It's so hard to translate. To open. Um, so we can find our love everywhere in the world and it must not be Ukraine. So maybe my person or a person who is right exactly for me lives somewhere else. And okay. I guess I have to take this chance. Oh, wow. Wow. Do you have, Alexander, do you have any preferences? Uh, maybe you want your future husband to be from a specific country or... Mm, do you have any preference? Um, not really. And uh, if we find each other, we can move somewhere together. And if we both want to live somewhere else, then I guess we can do this. <laughs> okay, great. 
So, um, but do you have maybe um, some cultures that you like? For example, um, some specific country that you like living in? Maybe you love living in Germany. Oh, uh, I like this country. The culture is nice, a bit different from our culture. But um, I guess every culture is unique and uh, yes, uh, maybe there are some cultures I have not got to know them yet uh, and I have no idea about these cultures. First, we have to try something, get to know something, and then we can decide if I like it or not. Mm -hmm. Great, great. So you firstly need to try. <laughs> Yes, first try and then I can make a decision. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Uh, Rist saying, good afternoon, beautiful woman from Macedonia. Women's from Macedonia. Hello. Yes, hello, thank you, thank you. 100% true. Hi there, hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. Guys, I just wanted to announce you some great news. So <clears throat> we're actually now giving free pass to our Zoom speed dating party. So first guys who will um, um, register for this will get this spot. So um, please hurry because <laughs> spots are limited and you still can get in. Um, and um, also we will put the link to register in the description below and you can also book uh, a spot for yourself just by um, calling us at 1604-998-8051. You can also leave us a message and we will book you for a spot. So here is uh, the phone number I will put on the screen so you can call us anytime and uh, you will reach out to me, Deanna, administrator at MedGuarantee, and, and I will be happy, happy to book you for this spot. Um, and now uh, I will play a short video about Zoom Speed Dating Party uh, so you can know what is this event about. Hello guys, Anna here, Heart of Match Guarantee, and I have exciting news. You guys were asking and we've created Zoom Speed Dating. Woohoo! So we designed this product. Well, for guys of all ages actually, but our first party will be for guys that are 30 something. In order to increase the effectiveness of our introduction, we choose specific age group. There is some serious marriage minded guys who are ready financially and mentally to create a family. And we want to create opportunity for those guys because we have a lot of ladies this number one goal in their life and they want to be in the life of man to be the supportive wife who help him to achieve his goals in his career. How many ladies you will meet? We will invite two ladies for each man that can be potentially good match. Who are those ladies? Those ladies from our database matchguarantee.com. If I can give you an idea, this is like when men come into bar and he don't know whom he will meet. So this is, will be like natural environment where everybody can opens up to help you guys to know each other better we will use matchmaking based tools how many contacts you can get after party you can get unlimited contacts as long as the lady have mutual interest to you so after party you send us ladies that you're interested to develop relationship and we ask them if they have mutual interest in you and if yes then we exchange your contact information how often we are going to do zoom speed dating events we are going to do it every single month how much does it cost well in our opinion we've created effective and affordable opportunity on the other hand we want to make sure that guys who sign up with these services are financially stable and mentally ready for to create family because this is what our women clients want they want to create a family if you're in a life situation when you don't have stability or you cannot even provide for yourself this is definitely not journey for you right now so the investment is $1,997 and $197 per month as long as you pay your monthly fee you're entitled to come to everybody forever go register by the link in description below and first seven guys will get $600 off plus another surprise bonus worth $500 see you soon bye bye 
Yes, welcome back. <laughs> Hello, Guy, Natalia. Oh, sorry, Alexander, I'm sorry. Um, yes. No problem. <laughs> so, guys, I just wanted to uh, repeat once again that um, you have now, uh, you can have a free pass for this, for this Zoom speed dating party. So, it's $2,200 value. So, please hurry. <laughs> Again, our number is 1604-998-8051. And I can see that you are very active in chat. Thank you so much. Um, here is a couple of questions I can see here already from Brian. Alexandra, sounds like she has a very given heart. Um, you can hear it in her voice. What have your past relationship been like? Oh, it's quite a very personal uh, or private question. Uh, um, I don't want to say something bad about uh, past uh, relationship. So life continues and I hope I will, get, I will have a great uh, new relationship. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for nice words. Mm, the question from 100% true, would she accept a restaurant date on the first date? Would she accept a restaurant date on the first date? Um, what do, do you mean on the first day? Да, ну пошли бы вы в ресторан в первый день. Ну, как как свидание. It depends uh, with whom. Mm -hmm. So, 100% true, let us uh, ask you, do you mean first day you meet ever or first date? Mm, first day you ever meet a person or is it just a first date? Maybe you have met before, but um, we're just trying to realize what is the exact question like. Okay, uh, another question from Vincent. Uh, hi, Alexandra, what are your religious values? For example, are you atheist, spiritual, Christian, etc.? I am Christian. Christian. You're an orthodox Christian, right? Orthodox, yes, right. Okay, great. And do you have, by the way, is uh, your husband religi religion important for you? Is it important for him to be Christian or...? Um, I can't say that so exactly but uh, if he is christian i guess it would be very nice mm -hmm. okay great um and another question from n alexandra what your career um uh, what your career before the war begin do you still be able to do same career now uh yes thanks god i can do the same and um uh, since few years, I have been working as um, an HR manager. Wow. Wow. In Ukrainian country. I like my job. Uh, <laughs> for Ukrainian and, and not only for Ukrainian. Wow. 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 Do you love your job? Yes, I love. I like to work with people in general. I get some energy from this job and... Uh, it's really nice to get to know new people every day and collect my experiences. Wow. So you are extroverted person. Yeah, you like communication. Mm, in the most cases, uh, I like communication and uh, I like to talk uh, with different uh, kinds of people. Uh, it's very interesting. Wow. Wow. Every day in new case. <laughs> Good answer, Brian says. Um, oh, uh, a little bit specific question. Would you date a Russian? Mm. It's really a very specific question and um, it's a little bit difficult to answer this question because, uh, of course, we are angry about all this situation, but I believe somewhere in my soul that maybe there are also some normal kind of Russian people not uh, everyone not all people can be so bad and uh, at least I have a hope that uh, there are also good Russians mm. yeah you know I can watch now a lot in, on the internet that um, lots of like media 
people, um, popular, famous people, they just leave Russia now and... Um, Even these people who left uh, this country, not yeah. everyone is still very bad. Yeah, yeah, and uh, now I think like more and more people um, starting to realize what's really going on. And um, I'm sorry for that. They are realizing this too late. I understand. But... I also have, sorry that I uh, mm -hmm. talked to, while you were talking. I also have some relatives in Russia and uh, yes, they are maybe it's a bit rude word, but they are brainwashed and tell some um, incredible stories, but uh, they need time to realize what What is happening? Yes, yes, Alexandra, I have the same. I also have relatives in Russia as well, and they don't, they don't, um, they did not realize it yet, but I hope they will. And uh, anyway, I'm glad to know that at least someone starting to see like the reality, and uh, I'm glad to know at least this. I think it's a bit, at least they start. People have to start to realize um, yeah. without this they, life they are, can't continue. They need to realize this and do some changes. Absolutely, absolutely. And I've watched the interview of a very um, popular band. I think you know Little Big. It's Russian band. Uh, yes. And they have left Russia and they're saying that uh, they... They had a really good career and they were rich in Russia, but now when they left, they have nothing. And uh, they said, to be honest to yourself is more important than to be rich. And that's why they left. Exactly. And, and uh, this band, these guys, they are very talented. And I guess uh, to earn money, they are able to do this in other countries too. Absolutely. At absolutely. least, uh, but they stay honest and... Uh, They don't take part in all this crime. Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you, Alexander. Um, oh my God, guys, I see you're so active. Thank you so much. Uh, from Gregory comment, very pleasant, natural look. Mm, thanks. Thank you. Um, Alexandra, are you okay with relocating to another country? Are you going back to Ukraine after war ends or staying in your uh, temporary uh, country? No, it's not Germany, Vincent. Um, now in, is she still in Ukraine? She's in Lviv. Yes, but it's a big uh, city in western Ukraine, and it's situated not far away from the border with Poland. So quite close to Europe. <laughs> and uh, are you okay with relocating to, relocating to another country? Yes, why not? Uh, new experience in life yeah okay great the question from scott what are your favorite genres of music and bands to listen to are you a karaoke singer or can you dance uh, so um, <laughs> as a child i visited some dance courses but uh, wow. i'm not a fan of dancing so mm. maybe from time to time uh, when i go through the disco, maybe, but very seldom. Uh, now it's impossible anyway, so mm -hmm. I can't sing at all. I sing very bad, uh, so I don't want that uh, all other people get some problems with their ears <laughs> after my singing. <laughs> it's not a very good idea, and uh, some favorite genres. Uh, I don't have uh, some favorite. Uh, it depends on a song. Sometimes uh, I like pop music, sometimes hard rock, for example, Rammstein, German band. Wow. So it depends on the mood. Wow, wow, you're so, so interesting personality. You have different, yeah, different conditions. It, uh, and so you can, wow, different genres. It depends on the mood. Sometimes wow. I want to hear something light uh, and sometimes something hard. So, wow, wow. It can be different. Uh, uh, oh, here is a question also from Tubro. Are you a country girl or a city girl? 
so I was born in a little town in West, Western Ukraine. In this town, there are about 35,000 people. But when I finished school, I moved to a bigger city and uh, I, I can live in small, small towns or big cities, both, but not in village area. I guess it would be difficult for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you are more city girl anyway. <laughs> more city girl, yes. Okay, great. Art is surprised. Rammstein, you're a better person for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, George. Uh, okay, so now let me uh, please ask you also a couple of questions. Um, as long as we spoke about war a little bit, yeah, I just wanted to ask you how the war has changed your life. Uh, to tell you the truth, this war doesn't ch didn't change my life very much. Of mm -hmm. course, we have air alarm from time to time, sometimes once a week, sometimes a few times a day. It's not very pleasant. Uh, and uh, yes, now we have a blackout every day, sometimes a few times a day also. Um, it's cold in a flat because of no electricity. But in general, it's normal. I can still go to work. I can go to the store. I can go shopping some, sometimes. I can visit my relatives. Sometimes I can go even to the cinema. So thanks God, the situation here is more or less normal. So not so bad like, as like in other regions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I understand what are you talking about. So those regions who were not that much hurt, yeah? and attacked that we much, also, they are, yeah. We also had some explosions and it's dangerous. Uh, once I thought, or a few times even, I thought that all glasses will be broken. So it's dangerous, but uh, it happens uh, not uh, every day and uh, you have some time to um, make your thoughts in your head uh, right. I don't know, to keep calm, to cool it uh, and... Uh, have to explain it's not so bad here up to mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. okay great and another question from vincent alexandra do you have any brothers or sisters where are your parents with you or still in the lip <coughs> uh, no i don't have any brothers or sisters unfortunately i am an only child but i have many cousins and my parents still still uh, live in the city where i am from mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay great great okay and my next question is um how much money do you want your future husband to have in the bank or make maybe each month? Oh, it's a very interesting question. <laughs> so it's his money. He can have so much as he can or he wants. But, but I think it's important that the family, both people, um, earn enough for a normal life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you mean that it's important for him to provide enough living right yes or to be able to earn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that he should have very 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 much money but uh, a person should be able to earn it mm -hmm. and do you have many some um, any specific amount what you think is needed for for living it depends on a country Mm -hmm. in, for some country, it can be more than enough, and in some countries, it can be nothing. So mm -hmm. it depends on a country and the lifestyle or life level. So, средний, как сказать средний? Average, average. Average life level in that country where he lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sony. Hello, pretty girls. Hello, Sony. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to us. Welcome, guys. Um, and uh, how do you think? If, how do you think it's important for you? So your husband will, will be a provider for the family. How how is it important? 
um, it's important if you have little children because uh, uh, during their young childhood, do, in the most cases, women are not able to earn much, but uh, um, I guess a woman also has to have some job or at least some occupation or at least to be able to earn also. Maybe she must not do this and she can do other things with kids at home and so on, but uh, she should have some profession because we never know what can happen in life, what can happen tomorrow. And it's more safe for family if both have some professions and uh, can uh, earn money. Wow, it's a great answer, Alexandra. It's a great answer. Thanks. Yeah. Um, uh, Vint Vincent is asking, Alexandra, do you like to travel? If so, where have you been internationally? What is your favorite trip? So I like traveling. I can't say I travel so much. I visited some countries in Eastern Europe, for example, Poland, um, Hungary, Romania, oh. the Czech Republic, uh, Austria, <laughs> Germany, of course, and uh, Russia, of course. So I don't travel very much, but uh, our neighbor countries uh, I have already visited. Wow, wow. And what was your favorite trip? Austria, I have a friend there, so I'm always happy to see her and um, visit uh, Vienna. So this great city, my favorite trips uh, were there. Wow, wow. Okay, great. And do you have any countries that you would like to visit in future? Uh, yes, I would like to discover Europe uh, more and more maybe some uh, south countries italy spain uh, where it's warm so <laughs> okay great um scott is also asking how big of a family of your own would you like to have with your life partner uh, how big of a family of my own um you mean my own family me my partner and a few kids and a few pets Oh, <laughs> okay, great. So, um, two kids, yeah, you mentioned. And yes, also and if you, a cat wow. and a dog, maybe, if it's possible. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, great. Thank you, Scott. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, guys, I just wanted also to announce um, that uh, some... <laughs> great news and uh, you can message in the chat if you have any other questions um, so for those who just joined us yeah I saw a couple of guys who just joined us please guys go and check our Ukraine dating.tv channel so um, we have recently launched it and uh, there we have beautiful Ukrainian girls they go live they go live every day every single day and they um, answer all of your questions. Uh, they communicate with your life. You can even have a video chat with them. And um, the most important is that it's completely free. So you're welcome to join to know more about Ukraine culture, Ukraine women mentality, um, and um, just to know how Ukrainian women are. So please check it out. Once again, it's ukrainedating.tv. You can just type it into the search bar in your browser and uh, you will find it. <laughs> okay, great. Um, oh, thank you, Gregory. Everyone enjoy the rest of your day and you too, Alexandra, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Gregory. Thank, thank you for you. joining us. Thank you. thank you. Guys, I think that we will be finishing. So if you have any other questions, please ask them before we will... Uh, do that. Alexandra, do you like dogs, pets? If so, what type of dogs, uh, pets do you like? Uh, I like uh, dogs and cats. Dog a dogs a little bit more, maybe. Uh, mm, what kind? What type of dogs? Uh, um, race or Russia race? No, no, no. What type of dogs? Maybe big like, dogs or small dogs? No, no, not very big. Uh, either small or so middle. Mm -hmm. Not very big. 
Okay, great. So you're a dog person, right? You're yeah. a more dog person. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, it's very rare. You see, we have Ukrainian lady who is dog person. <laughs> Because we're, we have some kind of joke here on our Ukraine dating channel. Uh, all of the ladies, they have cats. <clears throat> And uh, uh -huh. our viewers are joking that we're like, Ukrainian cat lovers club, but uh, Alexander, you're a very rare personality <laughs> that you're a dog person, so it's very, very nice. <laughs> Thanks. To have, to have a live stream. Um, do you have um, any exercises that you do? Uh, what do you mean exercises? Some sport exercises? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Now it's difficult to do some sports. I mean, these fitness clubs uh, are closed or are open the very less hours, uh, and uh, it's better, or at least it's possible to do something at home. Um, some simple exercises just to be fit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for health. <laughs> yeah, great. And also the question from Vincent, which I would um, answer. Alexander, your online profile uh, link does not show your height. So, Vincent, to see more additional information about beautiful Alexandra, you need to log in your profile with your username and password. Not with email address, but with your username. So, when you log in your profile, you will see more additional information about Alexandra. Um, yeah, nice photos at your profile. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Vincent. Okay, guys. Um, yes, once again, for those who did not still did not check out Alexander's profile, please go to medguarantee.com, spelled with Y, um, and um, click on our latest tab and just enter Alexander ID number, which is uh, 90, uh, sorry, yeah, 98... Um, Sorry, 2897. I'm sorry, guys. It's still it's still morning in Spain. <laughs> um, yes, it's once again it's 2897. Yeah, please check it out. And also Alexandra's links in the link in the profile below the video. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Alexandra, for your time. Thank you for so much for sharing. And uh, I wish you to have a safe uh, sunny day in uh, Lviv and I hope that soon the situation will be better in Ukraine. Thank you very Thank much you. for invitation and uh, your time too. So I wish you also all the best and uh, have a nice day. Thank you so much and thank you guys also for messaging us in the chat. Thank you Alexandra. Um, wish you both uh, the very uh, best in the Ender Awards. Happy holidays. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Okay, guys, um, please join our future live streams and check out our Ukraine dating.tv channel. Today, our beautiful Vita will be live. Thank you. Thank you, Alexandra. And bye bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.